All right, so as you can see right over here, I have just shared one post on Facebook today and those were 10 to 12 pictures. Now what I thought was all of a sudden, let me just create an Instagram story out of this and this is what I have posted on Instagram. So I'm going to demonstrate in this video step by step how I did that using four to five different apps on my phone. So let's dive into that in three, two, one and now. All right, so as you can see on my screen, uh, I have just shared something uh, on Facebook. All right, this was the post uh, from Sarcasm Facebook page and I had shared this three hours ago today in the morning. So what it says is it's a sequence of images with a message. All right, so the sequence is like a girl laughed when the teacher wrote the wrong answer on the board, but never expected him to do this next. And then there is this message, this message, this message. So it's a story. Uh, and a moral message in 10 to uh, 12 images all right and at the end it is like share this if you agree so i like this post and i had shared this but when i shared this i got an idea of creating this into an instagram story in the form of video so let me just show you what i actually did so on my instagram story if i go over here uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. so this is like today so four hours ago all right so i posted that on facebook shared that on facebook three hours ago and then i got an idea and it took me like around half an hour uh, or so to get that idea jump into the content and things like that so i wanted something like this so this is actually a video i have muted this so you won't be able to uh, hear this music but you can just check out on my instagram profile and go to the stories if you see uh, you'll be able to see this because uh, like like only if you uh, see this within 24 hours all right well or else it would just have been gone so now this is like uh, at the bottom there is wow then i have just mentioned the hashtag when is the wisdom then there is a flow and then the einstein's photo is in double things all right so it's double so how do you do this this is a continuity in the form of like a video so there is a music in the background which is very nice all right so how do you actually do this story so first thing which I wanted to do is, so just think, just, just have this thought process in your mind. What do you want? You want all of these pictures to be created as a video. So you can either go ahead and just find a tool which can convert all your images in sequence into a video. Uh, but if you don't find something like that, what you instead do is, you can just convert all your images in sequence into a GIF format, G-I-F or GIF or GIF, whatever you say. So you can convert that into GIF and then you can convert that GIF into a video and that is what exactly one of the applications can help you do which is GIF Toaster. All right. So this application name is GIF Toaster. You will find all the links below the video in the description box or wherever you are watching you will find somewhere around the episode and you will find all the direct links regarding the applications which I am talking about. So this is the GIF Toaster G-I-F space T-O-A-S-T-E-R GIF Toaster. So in this, once you are over here, you have several options on the top. So I selected first option, a uh, second option, which is photo to GIF. So I wanted all the photos to be converted to GIF. So I selected all in sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right. And then I pressed on arrow on the top. So now I can just set all of these things at the bottom. I can speed, I can just speed up, but first preview this. So let's say I click on preview and whatever the number of frames, don't worry about that. Just click on that. But now just, just imagine, uh, think yourself as a user. Whenever I create, I, you, I, I think myself as an average user. Now somebody when watching your content would be reading this content, right? So when they are reading, you have to treat yourself not as a fast reader or as a slow reader. You have to treat yourself as an average reader. So when I read, let's say if I read, uh, it's too fast. The movement or the GIF format is too fast for me. So I stop this. I go to the speed option once again, which is the third option and I decrease the speed to the minimum level and then I tap outside and then I preview again overall 30 frames. And now let's read it. A girl laughed when the teacher wrote a wrong answer on the board, but never expected him to do this next. Now see, it, it, now this is too slow. All right. So this is too slow. So once again, stop this and go to the speed and try to increase it a little bit to 0.3 X. Maybe tap outside and preview. Let's read it now. 
a girl laughed when the teacher wrote a wrong answer so it's a little bit uh, faster but now if you see all the slides the speed is average right the speed is average for all these slides over here so now what happens is this is the perfect speed which you want which you want so now once you are there over there stop this all right stop it and now just say next and scroll down and see actual size and once you do this actual size so now save this right at the bottom and save to photos app now this is a gif format this is yet not a video so once you are back 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 you'll see the option from gif to any last option so click on gif to any and select the gif which you have just created say next and now you'll have options whether you want to convert gif to gif gif to photo gif to video or gif to live photo so you want video option so click on third option video and now just have it as it is all right if you want to loop it back and back so just increase the loop but i want this as one loop only because this is just a video watched once i'll click on next once again actual size all right just wait for this all frames to go ahead and convert this into a video and now click on save and bang you go you have a video created just for you right now now go to an app which is add music all right and click on new project select the video which you have just created and tap here to add music and you can just select any music over here all right i'm randomly selecting any music select any music click on use it will download the entire music and once it is downloaded you can just drag over here and just listen to it you can play around couple of options over here uh, this would by default mute the video uh, sound of the actual video but if there is any video you can just tap on the actual video and select the volume and increase or decrease the volume all right but for me i don't want any uh, audio in the video i just want the background music to be played right so once it is done you can select next and then save it click on high so it will save your video in the highest resolution possible uh, with respect to this one and make sure you uh, do not lock the device because it won't save once you are done with this now what you can do is just go to instagram and try to post that as story but now this is 47 seconds two things which you have to make sure this is 47 seconds and your instagram story is always 7 or uh, 15 seconds for one story so you will have to just crop all these 47 uh, second video into pieces so that would be four pieces of content because if you divide by 15 you will get four piece of content how do you do that on top of that this is not a screen which you want all right this is not the screen which you want this is like random so close this go to an application which is InShot. once you go to InShot, click on video new and select the one which you have just created click on canvas click on this 9 is to 16 at the bottom and bang you go click on background and over here you can just select the background all right so i have selected this one the first one say ok and click on sticker click on this wow increase the size keep it over here right the center all right you can just increase or decrease the size and you want this to be for the entire video so just increase or decrease the timeline and select yes and bingo click on save so this will now save the entire video with wow with that 9 is to 16 ratio and it will process your video so once it is done you will now have one last job to be done which is like uh, slicing into 15 seconds video so 47 second video should be sliced into 15 second then 30 second so i mean 15 second 15 second 15 second and the remaining would be just two seconds because 15 threes are 45 and then the remaining two seconds so you will have four slices of your main content that is what you have to do so let's just wait for two three minutes or two three seconds and once it is done over here i'll go into another app there you go so it is saved now i'll go into an application which is continual click on continual select the video and select the video which you have just made and click on choose and that's it 
it will automatically process and slice into 15 seconds however long your video is so this would like uh, make sure your video doesn't surpass 10 minutes I suppose it will uh, just have 10 minutes up to 10 minute video which can be sliced into uh, 15 seconds each so this is now gonna export four different clips and now if you go into Instagram check this out let's go into Instagram let's swipe up to have stories right, so I'll have to do it again let's refresh and let's swipe up and there you go now if you can see there are four different pieces of content first second third and fourth 15 15 15 and two seconds so that's how you can create a wonderful Instagram story using all these combination of apps. So I hope you had some value. Let me know what do you think about this particular video guys in the comments below and I look forward to see you in the next one. Till then take care bye guys and as always guys stay awesome God bless and if you haven't then subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any particular content creation video. I'll see you tomorrow. If you have missed out on the previous one, do check out this video. Latest video from DigiPerform's YouTube channel, do check out over there. And if you haven't subscribed to these channels, tap on the individual logos, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification and I look forward to see you in the next ones. And yes, this is how I record. It's all natural.